my hair my hair it is drastic it is bold it is daring and it is not for the faint-hearted hey everybody welcome back to my channel now if it's your first time here hey hello my name is Mulagad Malatela do become part of the family and how you do so is quite simple just make sure that you are subscribed and obviously comment down below say something like new sub subby or something just so I notice you and so that I actually do see you and greet you back um now let's just attend to the elephant in the room okay my hair. my hair if you are a day one and it's not your first time on my channel you will know that i am not really one for such a bold extreme look but i did decide to do something you know out of the box out of the blue something quite different okay i feel like it's kind of a new chapter in my life if i do say so myself um yeah and i've just been going for something different there is a quote that says if a girl changes her look you know something is about to go down and it's kind of like that in my life currently i feel like you know what only greatness is to follow or you know so yeah anyway um y'all have just been asking me how i achieved this look and y'all have just been asking me how i actually got it the color that it is and i thought you know what let me just make a video to answer anybody that may have questions on how i achieved this color um i will say this it was not easy okay it was not easy it was not a matter of a day okay um yeah it was a process there were days that i actually went to the salon and i came back home and i had to put on a wig because it was not what i wanted and let me just go on with the story but um if you are interested in how I actually achieved this color, just continue watching. this video um if you want to recreate this makeup look there is a video up on my channel um just a quick tutorial on how i actually achieved this look but yeah anyway let's get into this video so how it all started was i will insert pictures by the way but how it all started was i had black hair and i had short hair and i thought you know what let me just um color it blonde I didn't know that to actually achieve such a color i had to bleach it i didn't know that um but yeah anyway youtube videos helped i found out that i had to bleach it so i went to the salon to try and actually achieve this color so when i got there with my black hair we'll put up a picture there should be a picture here but my hair was black okay i was a bit hesitant to be exact but yeah anyway i went to the salon and i actually asked the guy to bleach my hair and to get it to this guy and when we started honestly i think i sat for about 20 minutes where he was applying it like a normal relaxer applying it on my hair um scrubbing it in for every strand on my hair to actually be um, to have the product on this is how it looked like except the difference was the packaging that he was using had on a blue wrap if you get what i mean so it had on a blue wrap and yeah so he applied it on my hair i'll explain later how it's different from the one that i have now but he applied the product it was exactly like this so just take a look it was exactly like this the only difference was it had on a blue wrap and like i said i'll explain to you the difference between that product and this one so he applied on my hair and finally my head was covered with the product and I sat and waited for about 20 minutes and after 20 minutes my hair was already starting to change. So my hair started to change and we decided to actually go wash it off and when we washed it off I was not happy. It had turned brown okay but not like a beautiful brown like a copper brown kind of like the brown that you'd get from um, your hair being damaged by the sun if you get what i mean it was not beautiful at all i don't have a picture of that but i have a picture of the second time we tried it out because i was not happy 
I asked him to try it again because I was not going to pay the price if I was not happy. Okay, I was not happy and I was not going to leave the salon. I was not going to leave that place without what I wanted. And I wanted this color. So um, I told him I was not happy. He realized this is not the color that I wanted. And we gave it a second go. This time around though, um, I sat for about 45 minutes. So it was like two times the amount that I sat before. Um, he applied again and then I sat for 45 minutes and later it looked like this. It kind of looked orange this time around. Still, I was not happy and this time around I was getting exhausted. I was getting tired because it kind of burns. It, it kind of feels like relaxer on your hair. And I was giving it a second go. So now my hair was already kind of getting a bit hurt if you know what i mean i mean this does damage your hair it's not healthy for your hair i should say that so just going for a second go right after the first time um was not the best idea but i was very persistent and i really wanted to leave that place happy i wasn't okay i wasn't um i was so tired i was exhausted i was just um, disappointed my hair was not what I wanted it to be like but anyway um, the hairdresser was also like kind of fatigued from you know trying to satisfy me as a client and me not being satisfied I acknowledge his hard work you know he was trying so hard to actually help me get to where I wanted to be so I paid him and I left I was not happy the only thing I was proud of was the cut the cut was good but anyway, I paid him and then I left. Um, by the way, when I left the salon, I put on my wig back on. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to be seen with this color. I put on my wig and I left. And um, two days later, actually, two days later, I went to Checkers and I tried to actually look for bleach in the hair side or toiletry section to try and look for bleach i did not find it i was disappointed i actually found this it came together with this they came together um and i got this at an indian store you know those stores that you normally buy your hair piece where you normally buy your hair extensions that's where i got this it is brilliant that's the name of the product brilliant now i actually had to ask the woman that was um helping in the store how it's different from the one that i saw at the salon because remember the one that i saw at the salon had a blue wrap so now i asked her how is this black one different from the blue one and she said this one is a white bleach powder as you guys can see it does say white bleach powder with conditioners bleaching plus highlighting plus streaking and it says here five to six level lift okay and the one with the blue wrap i think said three to four level lift anyway so then i got home and i couldn't apply it right away i realized that i had to give my hair some time to actually get nourished and some time to heal if i could put it like that because it had been going through the most and i was conditioning it and shampooing it just giving it some love putting on some hair food on it just to nourish it and eventually after about five days i thought you know what i think it's about time now that i can actually run through the whole procedure again and i applied this so how it works is inside here you get powder and in here it's kind of liquid and you just pour it in mix it together and apply it on your hair and this time around i was like there is no way i'm not gonna get this color okay there is no way it has to happen and i applied it on and i sat for an entire hour so i applied it on i applied the i applied the whole product on my head and i wrapped it with the plastic and, um yeah i sat for about an hour and literally i was just praying i was god i was like god it has to happen okay i am tired this hair has to change like today and of course god answered my prayer <laughs> but he did um i took off the shower cap i washed it off and thank the heavens the hair had changed 
now my word of advice is it does not take a day um your hair does need some extra love and some more care trust me you need to care for it more than you normally do because this is not healthy for your hair bleach is not good for your hair at all so you have to uh, moisturize it more than you normally do um you have to condition it more than you normally would with um your normal hair um so that's what i had to do and every day when i bath i make sure i condition it i make sure that i actually shampoo it um one thing that i can say though is i've been loving this change it is drastic it is bold it is daring and it is not for the faint-hearted people will stare it's not black so obviously it is different people will stare at you um so be ready for um be ready for the attention that you're gonna receive um uh, thank yeah. god people have been loving it as much as i have if been you wanna go for this color make sure that you are prepared mentally for it um do know that it is not the end of the world okay hair can be changed like that so um i was honestly scared but i knew i wanted to go for something different um i'm normally one that goes for a safe kind of hairdo but now i knew i wanted to do something totally out of my comfort zone and for me this is exactly it okay it's exactly what i needed um yeah and bearing in mind the whole saying of when a girl changes her hair color you know something's about to go down just greatness ahead um that's what i was going for i was going for a different you know chapter in my life and i love this new chapter of my life it's beautiful it's bright it's radiant you know just great things coming and obviously speaking into the, speaking it into the universe um and obviously speaking great things into the universe and having that same energy just coming back to me i feel like you know i just it's just great okay um so yeah my advice would be do whatever that you want to do as long as it's great and it's not gonna harm you in any way go for it um yeah i don't think i have anything more to say so without wasting any more of your time um do subscribe if you aren't and thank you guys so much for watching